Hello guys, today I am going to discuss the entropy changes during the process of routine folding. This whole concept is very interesting as well as little bit confusing also because whenever we are discussing about the entropy changes related to protein folding process then sometimes we think that the whole process or the whole concept is breaking the second law of thermodynamics and things get muddy and little bit confusing but we will try our best to understand the whole concept in a logical but interesting way so first of all in the process of protein folding where a linear or unfolded protein is converted into its native structure into its functionally folded structure the entropy is decreasing now it is little bit surprising because we know that protein folding is a spontaneous process and when we apply the laws of thermodynamics then we already know that for spontaneous processes the entropy should be increasing or the second law of thermodynamics says that entropy of universe is increasing then first of all we have to understand why the entropy is decreasing in the process of protein folding and the second important question is if entropy is decreasing then why the folding of protein is a spontaneous process so these two questions we are going to answer today so the first question is why entropy decreases for the protein during folding to understand that first we have to understand the statistical definition of entropy which gives us a formula s where s is entropy is equal to kb which is boltzmann constant log w now what is w w is a very interesting parameter for which we need a little bit of imagination first we'll go through the definition of w and then we'll try to understand it by performing a small experiment so w is nothing but number of the ways in which the energy and molecules can be arranged a very complex statement but to understand or to simplify this statement i will be doing a theoretical experiment here and then we will come back again to the definition of w so let's imagine we are having a chamber or a beaker or a system full of water and we have added some sugar molecules into it after some time the sugar molecules will adjust themselves they will disperse themselves in that water uh, in that system of water and we will be calling it as the state of equilibrium now this particular state of equilibrium where the sugar molecules are dispersed in water is having certain value of entropy right now i am going to add some more water into the previously present uh, beaker or previously present system then what will happen in comparison to stage 1 or stage 1 here what is going to happen these sugar molecules are now having more ways to arrange them into the same system because amount of water has been increased so here they have already reached to a situation where they have arranged themselves in the system and here they are finding okay there is more space there is more place where we can arrange ourselves nicely again and they will disperse themselves again so if i compare this stage and this stage i will be able to say that here the number of ways by which sugar molecules are arranging themselves in water is less and here the number of ways by which the sugar molecules are arranging themselves in the system are more so the value of w is less here and value of w is more here so the entropy is dependent upon w so i can say that here the value of entropy is less and here the entropy value is high or in the whole process entropy is increasing and of course the water amount is increasing sugar molecules are dispersing themselves spontaneously because entropy is what increasing right so if i again come back to the statement which is explaining w that is number of ways in which the energy and molecules can be arranged i can say that a molecule is present 
or a system is having a certain number of molecules, how they are arranging themselves, how freely they are moving or in other words, what is their degree of freedom. So more the degree of freedom, more the ways of arrangement, more the ways where molecules can move from one place to another place or disperse themselves is defining what W. And if the value of W is high, then of course entropy is going to be high. So whenever I am trying to explain the entropy for a system, then it is very easy. If I am trying to, uh, if I am trying to explain the entropy of my hand, then I can say if I can arrange my hand in different, 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 different manner in the same space in the same system, it means I can say the entropy of my hand is what high, right? So if I am bound to uh, let's say now I am moving in this stage, I can move in different different directions. I can move in x direction, I can move in y direction, I can move in z direction. So I am having number of ways by which I can arrange myself in this particular area or in this particular system. Now suddenly I have clipped my hand to the screen. Now my movement will be what? Restricted. The number of ways will be now decreased. So now it is difficult for me to move in random directions. So I can say my W value in comparison to previously is decreasing and of course the value of entropy is decreasing. So how you can arrange yourself freely or in how many ways you can arrange yourself freely in a 3D space or in a system is going to define the value of W and the number of ways are high then W is high. So of course entropy is going to be high. Now we are going to apply this concept of W and entropy in our protein folding. Let us see. So we are having a linear protein which is unfolded. So an unfolded protein is having or can have multiple conformations. It can arrange itself in multiple ways. So I can say that for a linear unfolded protein the value of W is high, the value of entropy is high. But once the process of folding is increased, then the protein is trying to be arranged in one way, that is its native folded structure. So during protein folding, the ways by which protein can arrange its different conformation is actually decreasing, that is why entropy is decreasing and we call it as conformational entropy. So the statement is entropy is decreasing and which entropy is decreasing? Conformational entropy is decreasing. One more time I will try to explain it. So we are having a linear protein and a linear protein can have multiple free structures. It can have multiple free conformations. It can arrange itself in multiple ways in the same system. So value of W is high, value of entropy is high. But once it is folded in a particular native structure, then the number of conformation is decreasing or you can say the way in which protein can arrange itself in the space is restricted and if those numbers are restricted, W is going down, entropy is going down. So during the protein folding, entropy is decreasing. This is the answer of our first question that why the entropy of protein is decreasing, decreasing during the process of folding. Now we are going to give the answer of second question that if the entropy is decreasing then why the folding process is spontaneous. So to understand that we have to look at this beautiful picture which I found in a very nice paper from Gaidi et al. And this picture is giving us the truth about the protein in the cellular system. Now we already know that the cytoplasm where proteins are present is consisting of 70% of water. So you cannot consider the dynamics and thermodynamics of protein alone. You always have to consider the water molecules also. So this picture you can see here the linear protein, the unfolded protein is also covered by water molecule and after the folding the protein is also covered by water molecule. So to solve the issue that even if the entropy is decreasing, why protein folding is spontaneous, we have to explain the entropy of 
protein plus water as a as an uh, combined arrangement so let's see that let's dissect that so now this is an unfolded protein an unfolded protein is going to have hydrophobic amino acid residues now those hydrophobic amino acid residues when they are coming in present of in presence of water then the water molecules are going to create a structure like cage around those hydrophobic amino acid which is generally called as clathrate and cage like structures and all so i can say that in an unfolded protein the number of ways or the number of conformations where the unfolded protein can arrange itself is high w is high entropy is high but simultaneously the water molecules are not able to do that because they are arranged around the hydrophobic amino acid in a cage like structure so in unfolded protein the free movement or multiple conformations for the proteins is allowed or is available but the same thing is not possible for water because water is actually bound with hydrophobic amino acids so their free movement is not allowed so in this system i can say that the conformational entropy of protein is high because it can move it can have multiple ways to arrange itself but the conformational entropy for water is what less because they cannot move they cannot arrange themselves in multiple ways but once the protein is folded the hydrophobic amino acids are going inside the protein then the water molecules will be free and the free water molecules will be having multiple ways to arrange themselves like this the same water molecule so during the folding process the entropy of unfolded protein is high conformational entropy is high but after folding the conformational entropy of protein is decreasing that is factor 1 but in unfolded protein the conformational entropy of water is what low because it cannot move but after the folding the conformational entropy or the total entropy of water molecules is increasing so one factor the entropy of protein alone is decreasing but entropy of water molecules is increasing and generally the amount of increase in entropy for water is higher than amount of decrease in entropy for protein so overall when i consider both water as well as protein the total entropy is increasing we are never breaking the law of thermodynamics we are never saying that second law of thermodynamics is not working for the spontaneous process of protein folding so protein folding is a spontaneous process the entropy is actually increasing if you are considering both water and protein but if you are considering protein alone of course it is decreasing but as we say thermodynamics law says that entropy of the universe is increasing and the universe is containing both system and surrounding and you can consider protein as system and water as what surrounding and the overall entropy is increasing so let's summarize the thermodynamics uh of protein folding protein folding is occurring we are considering both water as well as the protein itself now the formula of free energy gibbs free energy is delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s and we are having first factor conformational entropy of protein is decreasing we have seen why because the free movement or number of conformation in which the protein can arrange itself is decreasing which gives a positive contribution to free energy of course delta s is negative then the delta g will be what positive but for a spontaneous process we need negative delta g but the second factor comes in the picture comes to the picture that is entropy of surrounding water molecules is increasing which gives a negative contribution to free energy so the delta s for factor 1 protein is negative which is giving a positive value for delta g but the delta s for water molecule is positive which is giving 
negative value to delta G and the factor B generally is having higher value than factor N. Finally, during the protein folding, new bonds are forming, hydrophobic interactions are occurring, van der Waal interactions are occurring and due to that fact, enthalpy delta H is also decreasing because of bond formation and interaction which is giving the negative value of negative value to delta G. So, overall delta G is becoming negative, the energy is being released, the process is being spontaneous because one factor is making this positive and two factors are making this negative and negative factors are winning and this is how without breaking any law of thermodynamics, protein is folding itself into a native structure with a spontaneous process. So, I hope guys you have understood this topic uh, easily and now you are not having any confusion regarding the entropy values for protein water and all this. You can subscribe our channel, you can share our video, you can always write to us on WhatsApp if you are having specific queries or if you want to learn more, you can follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, you can watch some shorts, small posts on Instagram. Thank you, thank you very much for your time and your patience. I will be coming back with an, another exciting topic, another complex topic to discuss in the logical and easier way possible. Thank you very much.